I think first half we struggled a bit, we struggled to play, but, uh, struggled with their physicality, but I think the second half we sort of picked it up, we worked hard as a team, worked together well, and in the end we got the result we wanted. And we just uh, seem to work with each other well, we know where we are, what we're doing, and yeah, it's been, we've been solid at the back with Charlie in there as well, just all working together well, it's top end for scoring. And it gives us a lot of confidence, eh? we're, we're confident we can keep a shot out every game, and just know we can nick a, nick a goal and get a win. Well, I mean, first half we've been kind of struggling in the first half and uh, we've given up a lot of shots and our defending has been kind of kind of shoddy in the first half and so moving forward we know that we have to improve with our first, with our first half because we can't keep giving up that many opportunities for the other team in that half and then move into the second half and just expect to be a second half team and win every game in the second half or in overtime or anything. So, I mean, it's a real big statement for us to, you know, keep that 0-0 zero, zero tie or be ahead at halftime, but we just have to be a little better on it. It's huge. Like, we have been struggling offensively. I mean, we've had a lot of 1-0 wins, 0-1 losses, and we had a, this previous game as a 0-0 zero, zero tie. Yeah, I know, right? So, <laughs> moving forward into the season, especially in conference season, it's long and it's tiring, and be playing 110 minutes every game usually wears on us. So, if we can start sealing out these games, especially with two goals, <laughs> especially with two goals, you know, like that gives us a little bit of a comfort zone, and uh, we really need to keep capitalizing like that. Um, I thought the first half, you know, the guys, you know, did a tough job just trying to follow the game plan, you know, and what we did. And, uh, and so we talked to them at halftime and just told them to follow what we're trying to do. We t made some tweaks and things like that. And then, you know, I thought we had a better of it in the second half. And, uh, you know, overall, I'm happy with it. Um, you know, it's a great another win at home, you know, so we'll, we'll take that and, uh, you know, just get ready for Wofford. So uh, I'm proud of the boys. We haven't beaten Mercer, you know, at all since I've been here. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big win. You know, it's a big win. Uh, anytime you get a SoCon win, whether it's home or on the road, you'll, uh, you'll take it. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I think we've been leaning heavily on our defense and, uh, you know, those guys have been able to do a great job I mean another shutout you know tonight is uh, is awesome you know but it's good to get some goals you know and, and that's the key I think if we can get our offense clicking a little bit and get some keep making chances and getting those goals I think we're going to be in great shape I just think yeah. the guys enjoy it I think we had a great great crowd tonight and uh, you know everybody it was a beautiful night to play and you know the guys get fired up to play here it's a great surface our our grounds crew does a great job with uh, maintaining this field and you know it's just a lot good place to be, you know, and it's a good place to get results. So we're, we're excited to play anytime we get to play in front of our fans. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any easier in the SoCon. I mean, it's just another, you know, uh, rock'em, sock'em soccer game, you know, and uh, we're, we're excited for it. We're looking forward to getting to Wofford and, uh, you know, and, and play tough there, and it's a road game. So if we can pick up some uh, points on the road, I think we're going to, you know, keep, uh, you know, climbing up the ladder and hopefully be in a good spot by the end.